at the brand new Old Town Recovery Center run by Central City Concern. They provide comprehensive solutions to end homelessness. This building, they have primary and mental health care for the homeless, also alcohol and drug detox services. So glad you're with us on Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Ken Ackerman. Well, a local representative has turned an intellectual pursuit into a passion. We'll find out why. Please welcome Mitch Greenlick. Thank you very much for being here. All right, let's go back to your field of study and, and your, your pursuits before you became a representative. Ken, well, for about 50 years, I've been a health services researcher and a health policy person. Uh, I was director of research for Kaiser Permanente for 30 years. I was a chair of preventive medicine at the medical school for 10. And I've always been involved, even before I joined the legislature. But in 2005, I was diagnosed with lymphoma. And all of a sudden, the game became a very personal game, as opposed to an intellectual or an ideological game. I, I spent six months in chemotherapy, doing other kinds of things like behavioral therapy, and all of a sudden, it became even more clear to me how important it was that every person in this country had access to affordable and effective health care. Now, you had a lot of time to think about this. Did it just come as a eureka moment, or, or did you decide that something more needs to be done, even though you thought you were doing quite a bit as a representative? Well, I, I think to a certain extent it was a eureka moment. I spent a lot of time sitting with a needle in my arm getting chemotherapy once a month for six months, pouring as maybe a quarter of a million dollars worth of chemotherapy stuff into my body and thinking, wow, what if I didn't have health insurance? Mm -hmm. I mean, what would I be doing? Would I have been diagnosed in the first place? Maybe not. I was diagnosed early enough so that I'm a survivor six years later. Would I have been able to afford the treatment? Well, maybe not. So all of a sudden, and just after that, I became chair of the health care committee of the House. It, it, just, it was a game changer for me because now I could see it from the perspective of the patient in a whole new way. So when you returned to the House, what did you vow to do? What policy changes did you vow to make? Well, I became ever more determined to make sure everybody in the state of Oregon had access to affordable and effective and accessible health care for them. That led to me working with uh, Dr. Bates, Senator Monis Anderson, a variety of other people in the legislature to start moving this whole health care transformation process, which is coming to fruition in this next session of the legislature. Now, Governor Kitzhaber, being a doctor, is that help or hurt uh, progressing health care to a level where you'd like to see it? Well, it's wonderful to have a doctor as a governor. I mean, sometimes he's a little bit of a pain because he thinks he knows everything about it, <laughs> as any other doctor should. But the fact is, this is a key part of his agenda, health care and education reform are very high on his agenda, and he's there behind us. He's there pushing us. He's got a staff working with us. He's off to Washington to get resources we need. He's done an incredible job, and it's really changed the stakes of the game. Now, let's talk a little bit about, uh, you've gone a step further. You've, you've developed a research foundation. Tell me about that. Well, the chemotherapy I was taking, a part of that was funded by research from the Lymphoma Research Foundation. We didn't have a Portland chapter of that, and that got me to start the Portland chapter. We now have a Portland chapter of the Lymphoma Research Association. We're, we're raising money for lymphoma research. We have a, a lymphomathon coming up on April 29th. Uh, we're on the Esplanade where people walk 5K in support of, uh, of uh, the, the lymphoma research. And I work on the policy side on one side, and I work on the, on the, the, the nonprofit organization mm -hmm. side on another side because we all have to, I think, contribute in both of those arena. Now, you're going to be walking? I'm going to be there. You're going to be there. I don't know whether I'm going to walk the whole thing. How are the knees doing? Uh, the knees are doing better. I, uh, in 2007, I knocked I the quads off both my knees, and, yeah. and that's been repaired. The knees are doing fine, and we'll all be down there greeting folks as they wear their bright T-shirts walking 5K. All right, so what we'd like to do is have you back before April so we can talk a little bit more about that that be possible? That'll definitely be my pleasure. All right, thank you. Representative Greenlick, we appreciate you joining us. And uh, from here at the uh, Old Town Recovery Center, for Comcast Newsmakers, I'm Ken Ackerman. For the crew here, we all wish you a great day. Take care, everyone.